Ryan Garcia cheated. Yes, the results came out a few weeks ago. The Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney fight, it ended in a unanimous decision for Garcia. He dropped Haney three times, but the results have now come in that he cheated. The day before the fight, it confirmed that a test was administered and it came back that Ryan Garcia had indeed taken oh performance enhancing God. drugs. He cheated and he won. So what do we do now? Don't nobody go in the bathroom for about 35, 45 minutes. You know, fucked up, you know that, don't you? You got knocked the fuck out. What's up, man? Now, of course. Ryan Garcia and his camp is calling all of these all of these claims bogus and that they're BS. But here's the truth. According to a boxing reporter, 25-year-old Garcia was administered a test on April 19th by the Voluntary Anti-Doping Association the day before the Haney fight, right? Now, the results were positive for Osterine. That's a performance enhancing drug. Now, what this means is that these drugs are prohibited because they give you an unfair advantage in the fight, which is dangerous. Now, the drug Osterine, like I said, it increases size and strength, not just any size, muscle size and strength, which will give you an advantage. Now, this obviously gives Garcia an unfair advantage in the fight, and that's why. It's illegal. Now, there were speculations Garcia appears stronger in a fight. I heard many people talking about it before these reports even came out that he cheated with performance enhancing drugs. They were just lending to because they already discounted that he possibly took steroids because they thought that if he did, it would have already the results would have already been rendered by this time. But obviously they hadn't been. They thought maybe he had adjusted the gloves in some way, shape or form, maybe cheated and put something in the gloves. But that wasn't the case. He did cheat, but he took some performance enhancing drugs. This is crazy. Where's the integrity? Now, you can only imagine that Garcia in this camp are denying all claims and calling them BS, you know, and he immediately, once the claims came out, he immediately started playing defense and took to social media. And this is what he said. Um, and I quote, everybody, I come on here to address this BFing it. Claim I cheated. Everybody knows I don't cheat. Duh. How does everybody know you don't cheat? What you really want to say is everybody knew you hadn't been caught cheating in the past. But today is a new day, Ryan. Now, Ryan goes on on his rant and poses some good questions. I ain't going to front. He posed a few good questions. First question is this. Why didn't they come out with this before the fight? And that's what was on my mind. And I'm sure that was on many other people's mind. That's why initially after the fight, they discounted the fact that he could possibly have taken some performance enhancing drugs because they think they thought that if he if he did, it would not allow them to, to, to allow the fight to continue. So that was a, a, a good question. The second question is, why would they let me step into the ring as a cheater and come out with a victory and then post this almost like trying to imply that they set him up? What do you think? Was Ryan Garcia set up? Did someone slip the performance enhancing drug in his water or so forth and so on? Or is the governing body lying? I don't know, but it don't look good for you, Ryan Garcia. And, and listen, I'm going to tell you what's this going to result in because it's not going to result in him staying the champion. See, many and people had a few questions after the fight and were shocked that Garcia was so dominant in the fight. But now these performance enhancing drugs, these PED reports come out and now it's all starting to make a little more sense. The fact that Ryan Garcia came into the fight three pounds heavier, right? And he won a majority decision after dropping Haney three times. It was dominance, right? Now, although it's Garcia's best performance to date, the decision will be in question and more than likely will not be upheld. It will probably go down as a no Contest, right? Now, Devin Haney's camp are, of of course, fuming over the results. And they, too, have some reasons to be angry, as you would. And not to mention, Devin Haney's father is his trainer, right? So, Devin his camp has posed a few things that I took from, right? What's happening to the integrity in sports? Yes. And let's go a step further. 
the integrity in our world, right? This is a global issue. Where's the character? Where's the integrity? But more importantly, why would they put Haney in there putting his life and his career at jeopardy? It was dangerous to let him go in there and fight someone that you knew came up positive for a performance enhancing drug. Now, Devin's dad was pissed off, as you can only imagine. This is a daddy raised him up from the rooter to the tutor. And now he's living out his dream and you put him in this uncompromisable position. So here's what Mr. Haney had to say. You trying to hurt my baby. We played it fair. We didn't do it like that. Effing boxing. This is some BS. I came from the streets. You scared of Devin on a level playing field? I feel effed up over this. If you can brag about doing it, you shouldn't be on drugs. So basically, um, um, Haney's dad is basically saying this. This man, listen, close your mouth because you cheated. If you ain't really about that, that accountability, that fair life, then shut your mouth. Because you shouldn't even be talking about this. You put my son's life in jeopardy. Something that he's been working decades for. And you're cheating. And putting his life and his career in jeopardy. And I can't blame Mr. Haney for feeling that way. He should not only, you know, focus that anger toward, you know, Ryan Garcia. But also the boxing commission. Because yes. they should have been more accountable for this. They should have played this a little differently. Now, this is another option. Garcia could ask the association to test another sample that they took the same day they took the sample that came up positive. They also took another sample, DNA sample. He could ask them to test that. And if that came up negative, then that would probably lend to some credence that it was a mistake or something made. But I think that that's null and void. I think that that's a waste of time because I think the opinion, the public's opinion has already been rendered. Once these reports came out, and once it's something that drastic, as in performance enhancing drugs in the sport, especially boxing, the, the decision's already been made. People's opinion has already been forged, right? So I think there's an integrity issue here. And I believe this is a global issue. Yeah, we're seeing this played out in boxing, but if you look at the world around us, character has been removed out of leadership. We need to get things back to the way it used to be because people are losing sight that the most important asset a leader must possess is character. And here's why. Because character protects your gifts. So in Ryan Garcia's case, his character protects his boxing gifts and skills. But once his character is flawed, like taking performance enhancing drugs, now his skill set, his talent, is no longer credible. We're seeing this play out in broad daylight, but we've seen it played out in boxing, but this is a global issue. Where's the integrity? Where's the character and leadership? And ultimately, where's the love? Listen, thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to keep it coming. We're going to keep watching. We're going to keep talking about it. And I'm going to keep bringing it. So you be great. And more importantly, be blessed.